Good morning children. I am Sarudayasas. Now I am going to teach you sexuality in flowers. In the last class I talked to you about four worlds of a flower. Two essential worlds are there and two non-essential worlds are there. So based on the presence of these essential worlds or reproductive worlds, there are two types of flowers. The unisexual flowers and bisexual flowers. Let's see. Unisexual flowers. In unisexual flowers, the flower which contain any one sex organ or either stamen or western. So, the flower which contain a single sex organ. Only one sex organ, either stamen or fist or heart. Okay, so if it is having stamen, it is a male flower. If it is having pistil, it is a female flower. So example for unisexual flower, papaya. Watermelon, etc. Watermelon, etc. So, can you say example for unisexual animal? Human beings are unisexual. Okay. Now we can see bisexual. So, bisexual means the flower. Bisexual flower means the flower which contains both the sex organs. Both stamen and pistil are there in a single flower. So, both stamen and the pistil present. Example for bisexual flower hibiscus or shoe flower mustard etc. Can you say example for bisexual organism that means male sex organ and female sex organs are there in a single organism. Leech, earworm etc. Okay. But in human beings, they are having only one sex organ. So, unisexual organism or animal. So, this is example for unisexual and bisexual plants. Is it clear about the sexuality? Next, we can see, as I told you, in angiosperm, we can see sexual mode of reproduction. So, for that, there is a fusion of gametes called fertilization. So, for doing fertilization, the gametes need to bring together and that process we can see now the transfer of pollen grains as I told you the male gametes are present in the pollen grains of stamen where these pollen grains are located in stamen inside the anther so the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma is called pollination let's see pollination in detail So, pollination is the transfer of pollen grains, transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flower. Okay, so we can say the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a stamen to the stigma of a pistil of a flower. So this is pollination. And this pollination followed by fertilization. Let's see which are the types of pollination. There are two types of pollination. They are self pollination and cross pollination. So we can see the self pollination in detail. First we can see self-pollination. Self-pollination means the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of same flower or another flower of the same plant. If the plant is bisexual, there is a chance of transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower. If the plant is not a bisexual or it is if it is unisexual, 
the transfer of anchor or transfer of pollen grains occur from one plant to another sorry from one flower to another flower of the same plant i will explain it with an with a diagram to show you the diagram then only you can understand so here you can see a flower so two flowers are here and suppose suppose this flower is a bisexual flower there is a chance of transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower okay and if it is a unisexual flower another flower also here if it is a unisexual flower there is a chance of transfer of pollen grains from this flower to the another flower of the same plant so both are self pollination is it clear so how can we define this transfer of pollen grains transfer of pollen grains from and the to the stigma of same flower or another flower of the same plant is it clear so self pollination is the process of transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same plant is it clear so i show you there is a chance of transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same plant so this is called a self pollination is it clear about self pollination next we can see cross pollination so cross pollination here there is a transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of another flower of another plant of the same species i'll show you so transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one flower
they can do this cross pollination is it clear about self and cross pollination next we can see the differences between self and the cross pollination self here we can write cross pollination so the first point in self pollination you can write the definition of the self pollination first what is the definition the process of transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of same flower or anther flower of the same plant here also you can write the definition and second thing is the flowers do not depend on do not depend on agents but in case of cross pollination they are depending on agents and third one the flowers are or the flowers not open and do not produce scent and nectar to attract the insects no need to attract any insects for doing pollination but they are open and produce scent and nectar to attract insects for accomplishing the cross pollination and the next point is the pollen grains produced pollen grains are produced in small amount in small amount but here the pollen grains are produced in large amount in large amount and the next point we can write fifth point the offspring produced by self pollination are do not showing variation so they have the same genetic makeup of produced same genetic makeup of the parent so purity of the rice is maintained here purity of the rice is maintained that means there is no chance of variation they are genetically similar to the parents but here show variation show genetic variation because they are from different parents of the same species also is it clear about the pollination and the types such as self and cross pollination that's all for today